Hello everybody. This time I would like to model a tire for a car. I start with a square and make this uh, 400 by 200 millimeters and center it in the middle. Then I go to uh, edge mode and I put in an edge in here exactly at 50% A key and then I bevel this with a round level of 0 about 10 millimeters then I select these two edges and bevel them again but with only one millimeter. Next I select these two edges here, Alt C, count of two, but uniform. Then I select an edge in here, Alt C, count of three and uniform. And now I go to vertex mode, select these two vertices, W key, and bring them down a bit, minus 20. Yes, that's good. Then I select these polys here, R key, and bulge them out a bit. This is going to be the profile for our tire. And then I go to edge mode, select these edges, R key, and bring them in about so. Now back to polygon mode, B for bevel, and bevel it in quite a bit, about so. Then I select two polygons in here, L key, then invert the selection, and delete, and delete these here as well. In edge mode again, R key, flatten them out, then I shift A, I go to vertex mode, select these two vertices, R key again, and bring them to about here. Ah, this is probably a bit too much, so R key again. Then Z key, bring them down a bit and shift click, bring them down a bit more, like so. Um, let me show the grid. Uh, w key, I think I put this to about here. Good. Duplicate radial sweep count of 64 around the X action center origin and click in the viewport and we have our basic profile. Don't need the grid and first I Take the center loop here, L key, B for bevel on the blue handle and bevel this about 14 millimeters. Good. We just have to remember this number. So select two here, up arrow key, Alt C, but with a count of two and Unif uh, symmetry, drop the tool like so. Next, I select some polys in here L key again, then P for bevel, but bevel without grouping the polygons. And then 
click in here on the red handle make this maybe five millimeters inset then shift click on the blue handle two millimeters shift click then 10 millimeters now we have a total of 12 shift click another two millimeters and now we have a total of 14 drop the tool next i go in here and delete some of these edges which we don't need the rest i leave in uh, now i l key shift up arrow and bring this up to about here then i go to select assign selection set call this one s okay then shift up arrow key again let me check in here once two more like so then hide everything now front view now i can select just these polys here and these ones here perspective again and unhide the, the point is the profiles at the very beginning or the outside of the tire are not the same height as the rest and this is what i want to do right now so r key on the red circle wrong side uh, i think we need to also pull it in on the x so i make it this way 98.5 percent for all let's see yeah that's more or less about it polygon by selection set select these and height now to front view again edge mode select all these e key then on the x-axis i rotate it three degrees then drop the tool select these here e key again then five degrees and select these here e key this time seven degrees drop the tool and unhide everything now we can make a little extra detail i select two polys in here l key shift select two in here l key b for bevel bevel it in a bit but with group polygons and shift click bevel it out on the blue one may just a little four millimeters like so so that's it apart from a little detail i select these edges here these ones these ones alt c count of two symmetry yes and the loop i put to one percent and now we are finished perspective and here is our car tire thanks a lot for watching take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.